The dream started in year 2010 when we registered Haiti to have its own chapter, FBLA Haiti Chapter, Future Business Leaders of America in Haiti. It was a dream, but in 2012, we have our first representation of Haitian students in the United States competing with the best American students. It's our fifth participation last year when we have a prize, 10th prize for public speaking. Imagine, a Haitian student in the month of October who could not say one word of English at the end of the school year in June in a competition with the best American students earn this is great achievement. This year, we have more than 40 students who are going to California. We're going back to California. And I am California where we're going to compete again with nine countries, Colombia, China. Haiti was the first country, a foreign country accepted in the future business leaders of America. So we're going to have different members of our program explaining to you what is FBLA. What is entail, what FBLA entails, and what can we do? You, as a Haitian citizen or someone who really love Haitian students who have opportunities in education to assist us to make this dream even better. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jennifer Pierre and today I will be telling you about FBLA. Future Business Leaders of America, FBLA, is the largest business career student organization in the world. With 75 years of existence, this organization is orienting middle school, high school, and post-secondary American students to business careers. In 2011, FBLA accepted the first foreign country, Haiti, and its international division. And Mr. Herbert Joseph, a former teacher of FBLA program in the United States of America, opened a chapter in Haiti called FBLA Haiti Chapter. As members of this prestigious organization, our goals are to develop competent, aggressive business leadership, strengthen the confidence of students in themselves and their work, create more interest in and understanding of American business enterprise, encourage members in the development of individual projects to contribute to the improvement of home, business, and community, develop character, prepare for useful citizenship and foster patriotism, encourage scholarship and practice efficient money management, facilitate the transition from school to work, promote school loyalty, and assist students in the establishment of occupational goals. Every year, FBLA organizes the National Leadership Conference in different cities in America, where students from every chapter compete in business, technology, and leadership-related fields such as marketing, entrepreneurship, public speaking, accounting, and so on. Arvika Jin, I'm from Haiti. I'm an FBLA member and former president of FBLA Haiti Chapter. FBLA Haiti Chapter participated for the first time at the National Leadership Conference in 2012 with 16 students in San Antonio, Texas. In 2013, we went to Anaheim, California with 22 students. In 2014, we went to Nashville, Tennessee with 60 students. In 2015, we went to Chicago, Illinois with 35 students. In 2016, we went to Atlanta, Georgia with 22 students. And we also won our first trophy in Public Speaking One competition. Participating at the National Leadership Conference is a wonderful experience. As an FBLA member and former president of FBLA Haiti Chapter, I had the chance to horn both my hard skills and my soft skills, learn how to communicate effectively and how to be a team player. 
Aviali's mission is to bring business and education together in a positive working relationship through innovative leadership and career development programs. For this reason, LBLA Haiti Chapter will participate in the 75th Annual National Leadership Conference, which will be held once again in Anaheim, California. Joining Institution Chrétien d'Haïti are Collège du Côte-Plage, Collège Notre-Dame des Petits, Collège Marie-Régine, Collège Mixte Eddie Pascal, Collège Catherine Flon, Collège Canapé Vert, and Collège Marie-Dominique Mandzarello, making a total of 60 people, including staff. In the United States, the chapters are sponsored by state, city, and local businesses. But in our case in Haiti, the chapter is only sponsored by the parents of participating students and Focus Haitian Music, which is a 501c3 charitable organization with Mr. Herbert Joseph as CEO, because they truly believe that we are the future of our nation. Every single donation to Focus Haitian Music Inc., which is a non-for-profit 501c3 charitable organization recognized by the State of New York and the Internal Revenue Service, can make a difference. All donations to us, FUAMU, FBLAD Chapter, and ICDH are tax deductible. Donations can be in cash or in kind. We use a lot of learning materials such as computers, laptops, iPads, smart TV, smart boards, business and leadership books, printers, and scanners. We also need funds for the trip to cover expenses like uniforms, FBLAD conference registration, passports, insurance, transportation, airfare, and hotel accommodations. You can support a student or many students from any of the following member schools. ICDH, Collège de Couplage, Collège Marie-Régine, Collège Notre-Dame des Petits, Collège Catherine Flon, Collège Mick Eddie Pascal, Collège Canapé Vert, and Collège Marie-Dominique Mazzarillo. Harbert Einstein once said, the world is a dangerous place to live, not because of the people who are evil, but because of the people who don't do anything. Do something, get involved, adopt FBLAD chapter as your cause to support quality applied education in Haiti. Give a young man or woman a chance to participate in a unique experience where they study, compete, travel, see another world so they can share with their peers. To support us, you can email us at dilibo at yahoo.com or visit our Facebook page FBLAD chapter. Donation can be given through our website www.fuamu.org or contact us directly for additional information at 708-421-3349.